Afternoon, Matt. Afternoon, everyone. Oh, York season, it would seem at something of a crossroads. Seven points above the relegation zone, six points shy of the playoff places. Wrexham situation far clearer. Automatic promotion, the clearly defined aim. In come James Jones, Anthony Ford and Ollie Palmer. Top scorer Paul Mullin has seven goals in his last five games. The tests don't get any greater in the National League right now. Wrexham top of the pile. No team has won more National League games this season than the side from Wales. York seemingly in a state of flux off the pitch. Will change a bit with the new managerial appointment. They're looking to make a fast start here, the home side. Well, they need some pre-match focus on the threat that some offer from set pieces as Crooks flicked it on and it was well gathered in by Mark Howard. Tunnicliffe has been putting in some really good performances in that Wrexham defence. Palmer to hold off Coogan, it'll be a good battle there. Palmer's come out on top on this occasion but the shot in the end was a little tight. Can he be the man to finally end their time in the National League to get them back into the Football League. So many have tried and failed. Mullin. Mullin's cross was a good one. Long it goes then from Ethan Ross. Hancock's looking to make something of it and he's putting the pressure on here. Well, they've given the free kick for the foul. Alex Whittle got it clear up towards John Lewis. And worked this really nicely, Mullins waiting, and here he is! Have to be so switched on and concentrated when Wrexham have these sort of opportunities. to the feet here of Palmer, that Fatin gets involved as well. Tunnicliffe is one of those forward, Mullins up there too. And it was a shot by James Jones. I love seeing it, full stadiums. But it's a big, big football club, Adam. It's been in this league for far, far too long, and now with the expectations behind them, the fans certainly believe, and I think at home especially, I think the players have now really adapted to playing in front of these, these home fans, playing some good football. Really nice turn that by Whittle, he's got three in the box. Good recovery, though, by Jones at the expense of a corner. Wrexham side, they must defend a set-piece here. Over towards Crooks it went. Jones got it clear and Crooks was there again. Mafuta was beaten in the air and Pybus won it. John Lewis hit it on the turn! Decent effort. It's probably been York's best out ball so far in this first half. There has been the first goal of a new era at Scunthorpe, which we'll show you in a moment. But first of all, this corner for York. Now they're saying that there was a foul there. Referee not interested as Wrexham get it clear. That's because he plays it early. I'd say that could possibly be more than the one on Lionel John Lewis. Just clumsy some fans. Coogan. Again, Duckworth's a long way forward. Hancock's in towards John Lewis. Now, was he fouled there? Hayden, it was. He was in a little bit of a tangle with him. What's lacking is that final ball. Could be danger here for York. Challenged by Mafuta on Jones and a free kick in a very good position here for Wrexham yeah. and the yeah. yellow card as well for Mafuta. Yeah. Ford's there, and he took it, and it was well saved by Ross, who scrambled across his line really well. Might get a taste of their own medicine here. Wrexham with a long throw in, there is good distance on that. Come back to Duckworth. Headed clear by Hayden. Hancock's. Mafuta first to it. Dan Pibus. Hancox. There has been another goal in the Scunthorpe Knotts game. We'll get to that in a moment. 
Mullin, who's been well found, the angle's working against him. Dan Pybus, who had been a doubt for this game, and he's returned to training on Thursday. Foul here. Just done the basics right, which you need to do at this level. Duckworth with a dangerous ball in there! Oh, that's a real chance, that, for Coogan. Fantastic cross, that. Just seems a much more settled squad inside now, and he's got to use. Lee, he's got Mullin up with him, and he just didn't get the contact required. Dan Pybus, John Lewis, Pybus, Dyson, Pybus, Whittle. Cross was blocked by Ford at the expense of a corner. Struggling to get this clear here at Wrexham. Eventually they do manage it. Whittle. Mafuta. Has been a goal at Kingfield that we'll tell you, show you in a moment, but York on the attack here. Dyson in towards John Lewis. Luke Young, the captain, will take this for Wrexham. You've got plenty forwards. John Lewis, for once, was beaten in the air. Fords, plenty have stayed in there for Wrexham, including Hayden, and Tozer's in there as well. Good goalkeeping, though, from Ross, who was alert. Yeah. Pybus, John Lewis, Dyson, nice move, this. Dyson just couldn't make the room for the shot. Just use your left foot there, don't try and come back in on your right. Pybus. Cross in there towards John Lewis! Wow, that's the sort of chance he's been waiting the whole game for, really. Cleared by Coogan. Elliot Lee. Mullin. Plenty forward here for Wrexham. As Mullin looks to go alone, and was forced further and further wide until, realistically, the chance was gone. Yeah, it just seems... Personally, at least very close to it, anyway. Dyson. And Burgess, and Dyson, it's a great chance! And they've got players arriving in the middle, and it's deflected. I mean, just overcooking it at the back there, Hayden, for his experience. Stays on side well. This time he uses an effort to cut it back. Whistle really there. All the hard work that York have done defensively, they've been so switched on and concentrated in these sort of situations. Can they keep it going here as Young plays it into the box? John Lewis got his head to it and the acrobatics, it's in! Tom O'Connor with the overhead kick. He's in ball in from the captain. They defend this first one well. But O'Connor is then not marked. It's unbelievable, spectacular. And you switch off and you think the job's done. No, Connor had so much time and had a lot to do still. Don't take the finish away from him. Midfielder off, centre forward on. Duku replaces Dyson. Seven minutes of added time, we've had one of them. John Lewis, can York hit back here? Has Duku up in support with him? Oh! What an impact! I think that's his first touch! Duku off the bench to equalise for York. Inspired change by the interim manager, Tim Ryan. How about that? What a response from York! All square! Unbelievable! Didn't see that one coming, I must admit. But John Lewis, he's been absolutely brilliant. Feeds it there. I don't know what the goalkeeper...
goalkeeper's doing. Whether the deflection was that much of an impact on the shot, I'm not sure. Clear by Mafuta. John Lewis. Duku's got forward again here. Oh, and the goalkeeper just got there. He did well there, Mark Howard, because that was a difficult ball to defend against when that was looped over the top. How stretch is this? Mullin with the pass. Elliot Lee. When ninth minute of added time we go. A check of the watch from the referee. And it is a point apiece. And that will feel good for Tim Ryan, his final game in temporary charge of York City will hand over the reins now.